I've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 smartphone right here. And today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader for this device, as well as all of the other Snapdragon variants of this Redmi Note 10 series. I know the company has currently released the Redmi Note 10, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, the Redmi Note 10 S, and a 5G variant of the base model. Some of these are coming with the Snapdragon chipset, some of them are not. If you have one with the MediaTek chip, the company does not have an official bootloader unlock for that device yet. And I may be doing a video in the future for those, but for right now, we're just going on the Snapdragon variants. Now, in order to complete this tutorial, we're going to need to do some things like enabling developer mode, booting into fast boot mode, downloading a tool called the Me Unlock tool. We're going to need to have a SIM card that has a data connection. And you're going to need to have a Xiaomi Me account. If you're not familiar with how to do some of these things or where to go to find others, look in the video description as I'll be having links to all of that. So if you haven't done so already, we're going to need to go into the settings application so that we can enable developer mode. And we do that by tapping on the Me UI version option about seven to 10 times. With that done, we can go back to the main settings page, look under the additional settings section, and then scroll down to find the developer options menu. This menu is hidden if you do not do the previous step, so please be sure to do that. Once we get here, we're going to be looking for a toggle right here. Normally this is set to off, but I previously tried to unlock this device last month and came across a, an error in the Me Unlock tool so, saying that I could not unlock another Xiaomi phone that month. That's why I had to wait till now to do this video. So by default, it's going to be set like that. But we're just going to tap this toggle on and it's going to bring up this confirmation dialog box right here at the bottom. So you're just going to tap the blue button to set that to enable. Now we're also going to need to go back into the main settings page look in the look for the me account option and then sign into your Xiaomi me account right here so with all of that done again we're going to need to make sure that you have a sim card installed we're going to be disabling wi-fi this is required and then we're going to go back into the developer options menu this time we're going to look for the Me Unlock Status option. Once we tap that, we're going to likely going to get a permissions required pop up. So just agree. And this is why we needed to have our Xiaomi Me account installed. So read the instructions here. Read the step-by-step -step messages here. This is the link to the Me Unlock tool that I mentioned earlier. Again, I'm going to have that link in the video description. So we need a SIM card installed. We need Wi-Fi off. We need our Me account already added. And then we can tap the Add Account and Device. Once we tap that, it's going to prepare. And if everything goes smoothly, you should get a message saying that it has been added. As you can see right here, I'm getting an error message. And this is common for my network because I have a Pi hole set up and it tends to intercept those connection requests. So I'm going to disable the Pi hole and then add the account. 
So I just removed my account from the settings application and added it again. When you add your account, make sure that both sync as well as find device is enabled because the Xiaomi needs those in order to verify everything is set. Again, we're just going to tap the add account and make sure that it says added successfully. Once that's correct, we can then proceed with the bootloader unlock process, which starts by powering off the phone because we need to boot this device into fast boot mode so that our Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool can recognize it. Once the device is powered off, we're going to press the button combination to boot into fast boot mode. So that's the power and volume down. Again, if you're not familiar with how to do that, look in the video description as I'll have links to individual tutorials that cover this. And then we just need to connect our smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. So here we have the Mi Unlock program. When you open it up, you're going to get a big disclaimer. And you're going to get a couple of buttons down here at the bottom. We're going to click on Agree. And then it's going to ask us to log into our Xiaomi Mi account. It needs to be the same Xiaomi account that you used to log in on the phone. Now once you log into your account, it's going to take you over to this secondary screen. If you have not plugged the phone in yet, you're going to be instructed to not only plug the phone in, but also to boot into fast boot mode. I believe they refer to it as bootloader mode. It's actually the same thing. Now we are going to get this warning message saying that unlocking the bootloader is going to erase user data. That is correct. So back up any information now before you proceed. When you're ready, we're just going to click the unlock button right here. And it's going to bring up a confirmation dialog twice to make sure this is actually what we want to do. So just click the unlock anyway button. Now we're not actually going to be unlocking the bootloader here. It's going to be a first step in unlocking the bootloader. We're usually going to need to wait either three or seven days, depending on your Xiaomi account and how many smartphones you've unlocked in the past. I know in the in, uh, previous times I've had an instant unlock on my device but there are times when I've needed to wait multiple weeks. Sometimes it's just a few days, sometimes it's a week. Xiaomi seems to change this up fairly often. So once you're ready, just click the Unlock Anyway button again. You're going to get a count up percentage right here. We should get a check mark on the Verifying Device option. And if everything went smoothly, we should get a please unlock and then a certain amount of time hours later. If you get a different error message here, like I've shown in the past, you can look at my previous bootloader unlock tutorials as I've covered a couple of the common error messages there. But the goal here is to make sure that we get a message telling us that we are allowed to unlock the phone after a certain amount of hours. So in my situation, it's 168 hours. Also, do not add our Xiaomi Mi account to MiUI again. If you do that, remember how we went to the settings and added our account. If we do this again within this amount of time before we actually unlock the bootloader, it's going to reset our timer. So just don't mess with your Mi account within MiUI from now until this timer runs out. So if you're like me and we're having to wait a certain amount of time before we can actually unlock the bootloader, we're now safe to unplug the cable 
and we can force a reboot on the phone by pressing and holding the power button. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds, but after we hold the power button down for long enough, it's going to turn the screen black, and then it's going to go through the typical boot process. Now, if we had unlocked the bootloader, it would have rebooted on its own because we had we would have gone into an actual bootloader unlock screen. And then that would have forced the factory data reset and then we could have proceeded from there. So that is the official method of unlocking the bootloader for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, and the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max.